everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Beauty by Review on this product by Sephora Collection. This is the Sephora Collection Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. This is one of their newer products in the collection and they're really pushing it so they have it in the displays in the front of the store. There's like ads, there's a lot of things both online and in store so they're really trying to get people to buy it and try it out. And right now I feel like powder foundations are having their moment. I know Bare Minerals just released one and I forgot who else. It might have been Smashbox or one of the other brands in Sephora also has something very similar to this but this is definitely the, mo the most affordable one of the bunch. This retails for $20 and you're receiving, you're receiving 7.5 grams or 0.264 ounces so I mean it's a decent amount a decent amount what this foundation is supposed to do is provide flexible comfortable matte coverage so it has a flex matte technology that moves around with your skin doesn't look cakey it doesn't look heavy or too powdery so they describe it as a creamy powder formula and I have to agree it is by far one of the creamiest and like softest powders that I've ever felt. It doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't even feel gritty, it just feels smooth, almost silky, like borderline silky. So I've personally been really really enjoying this foundation because when I use this I it's kind of like an all-in-one product. I use this as foundation, I use it as concealer, I use it as powder. So I get to skip <laughs> a bunch of steps with just one product. So it saves me a ton of time when I'm getting ready in the morning, especially for work. And this actually does hold up really well on an eight-hour shift or even longer, a longer day. So it wears very, very well. I will say this. Both the Sephora girls that were working at the store that I went to and also the online reviews claim that this does oxidize, so I would go a shade lighter than what you think you are. I managed to get this one. This is Warm Porcelain, which is the <laughs> one of the lighter shades, but like the warmer version of the lighter shade. So this is just perfect for me. I don't really see this oxidizing too much on my skin by the end of the day or even the middle of the day. It just looks like my skin tone. At the beginning, it does look a tiny bit light, but it does settle in very nicely and looks very natural on the skin. But just as a warning, this does tend to oxidize on some people, so go a shade lighter than what you think you are. So my favorite way to apply this foundation is actually with the sponge provided, which I didn't think was going to be the case, but I find with the sponge, you get a really nice coverage and you get a ton more coverage. It's a lot more quicker to apply. You can be selective if you just like kind of bend the sponge. You can apply more powder right underneath the eye as a concealer around the nose or in specific blemishes. So I find that this sponge is actually very versatile and very useful in this case. This isn't anything special. <laughs> you can definitely find these type of sponges at beauty supply stores, Ulta, I believe Target as well. So I'm definitely going to be purchasing a bit like a few more of these just so I can be hygienic and not use this dirty one over and over and over again. You can also use a brush, some type of synthetic buffing brush or flat top brush, kabuki brush, but I find when you use a brush the coverage level is a lot more sheer, a lot more natural, so if you do want to use this product as a foundation concealer and powder, you do get a, a lot more of a natural look, so personally I don't like it that way. i rather get something a little bit more like medium coverage with this foundation because with powders it doesn't look as heavy as a liquid foundation so personally I like using like to medium coverage and the sponge provides that coverage for me. Apart from the application, there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing that I dislike about this. I like the way it wears, I like the way it looks, I like the coverage, I like just the ease of use. It's so easy to use. You can definitely travel with this and you don't have to check it in with TSA because it's a powder. So this is an all-around win for me. I am so glad that I picked it up. I saw it in the display and it just... It looked, it called my name. It really called my name. I went on the Sephora app while I was at the store. Their reviews were overwhelmingly positive, so I was just like, you know what, I really wasn't in the market for a new foundation, but I picked it up and I'm so glad that I did it. I 
have really oily skin and this just holds up so well on my skin. Of course, I will get shiny throughout the day, which is completely normal for my skin type. So all I do is just blot. But if you have just like regular oily skin, this will work just fine. Combination skin, it'll work. I think even people with dry skin can get away with this just because it's not a very drying powder and it does have that creamy texture. So if you have dry skin, go to Sephora, try it out, see if you like it or not, or just purchase it. And if you don't like it, you can return it to Sephora. <laughs> it's that easy. But I do really like this. I haven't found that it clings on to dry patches and it doesn't like move around or cake up. So it's just a beautiful powder it really really is and I've been using it quite a lot and I still you know I have a, a, a small dent going on but I still have a long way to go before I finish it so I highly recommend this powder if you've been seeing this at Sephora definitely give this a shot now I really want to venture into the Sephora collection brand because I really haven't tried that much the only thing I have ever tried well I've tried a few things so I've tried I used to use their eyeliners those were the first eyeliners that I started using back in high school so I would just like line my waterline with black eyeliner and I've also used their matte liquid lipsticks which I wasn't a big fan of but this this is a home run. I absolutely love this. So let me know in the comments below if you were interested in this product, if you tried it out, if you like powder foundations, let me know in the comments below. If you're brand new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe by clicking right over here or underneath. Help me reach 10,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video, which will be the style Q&A. So I'll see you then. Bye! Here you go, this is your first glance. The first thing I want to show you guys is this Village Naturals Therapy and it's a mineral bath soap. Oh my god. Yes! They 